Okay, let's take a look at the examples for midpoints and segment bisectors. Our first one, example A, asks us to write out all equal segment statements. So we're going to take a look at the uh, picture here and find out which angles are equal. Uh, first we have angle A, oops, I suppose I had to get a pen that works, huh? Angle A, D, B, and we have angle B, D, C. Let me color that with slightly different color here. B, D, C, and it says that those two angles, given our little hash mark right here, are equal. So if those two angles are equal, then we know for certain that that's one of our pairs. So congruent angles are angle A, D, B, and, oops, I'm sorry, angle B, D, C. And we also have one more angle over here that has a single hash mark, FDE. I'll do that one in green, FDE. So each of those are also co uh, congruent to angle FDE. So we have three angles that are equal, and um, all three of them are also identified as congruent. Okay, let's go on to question B. Example B says, is M a midpoint of AB? So of line segment AB. Well here, line segment AB runs from over here to over here, and M right here looks like it's in the middle, but the problem is that we know that line segment AB is 34 units long. So if we were to find the midpoint of that, then we divide that by 2. 34 divided by 2 is 17. So it would need to be 17 units from each end. Since MB, line segment MB, is 16 units and not 17 units, then M is not the midpoint. It would have to be at 17 rather than 16. All right, example C asks us to find the midpoint between point 0.9, negative 2, which ought to be about over here somewhere, and point negative 5, 14, which ought to be up about here somewhere. So we're looking for the middle of this line segment right here, so somewhere along in this area right about here. So what we need to do is find the difference between the two points vertically and the difference between the two points horizontally and divide that by two so that we can go from one point toward the other one but only go half as far vertically and half as far horizontally so we can get to the middle. So to do that we need to find our x distance which is our horizontal distance and divide it by two. So our x distance is going to be the difference between nine and negative five we can find difference by subtracting, right? 9 minus negative 5. So that gives us a difference of 14 units. If we divide that by 2, then our x or horizontal difference we want to move is 7 units. Then we do the same thing for the y, or the vertical difference. And it's going to go from 14 to negative 2. So we want the difference between 14 and negative 2 that would be 16 units. Divide that by 2 gives us 8 units. So we want to go from one point toward the other 7 units on the x-axis and 8 units on the y-axis. So we're going to go from negative 5 over, if we're at this location on the x-axis, over 7 units, which would take us to 2 and then we're going to go from 14, and we're going to go down 8 units, which would take us to positive 6. So our midpoint then is the location 2, 6.